Welcome back as we unpack our conversation with Texas Governor Greg Abbott and his transformative commitment to restoring border security. Rudy, you heard the governor. How much of his effort is genuinely practical versus political? Transformative. That should have been your word, Greg. <laughs> well, to answer your question, it's 100% political. But, you know, there certainly are practical applications to what the governor is doing. Abbott's been traveling around the country like the owner of one of those midways that hit small towns, hawking his ideas. That's why my word was carnival. You know, sure, he may be selling a lot of Republican cotton candy. Uh, it's good, but it leaves you a little empty. Uh, but it's nothing compared to the original denials of a crisis by the Biden administration or the latest spin by the White House now claiming that the president has found his newfound executive powers, cracking down on the border asylum, uh, border, border by limiting asylum spe uh, uh, seekers. Boy, had to spit that one out. So, yeah, it's all like a midway attraction designed to pick your pocket or your vote for both of them. All right, Republicans have identified restoring border security as the linchpin issue in their bid to regain the White House and the U.S. Senate. That fact alone has got to elevate Abbott to a crucial role in the fall, maybe not as a candidate, but rather as an outspoken witness to Joe Biden's failure. What do you think, Stephen? Yeah, definitely not a candidate. And, um, you know, the, the whole VP thing was, I guess, cute, but Abbott is going to stay as the governor of Texas. But he will continue to be a pain in the Biden administration side, and that's what he's been doing before any of these uh, uh, rumors about a potential VP pick uh, was, was circulating. And I think the governor, that's why I said dug in, he's going to continue to find new ways to find ways to send migrants to what are called sanctuary cities, Democrat-led cities and states, and, and going to continue to push back against the Biden administration. I mean, we still have issues that are in the courts uh, between Texas and the federal government. So yeah, in the, heading into the fall, Governor Abbott is going to be front and center. All right, Rudy, you heard the governor say his critical decision to bus migrants to northern Democratic cities literally changed the national dynamics and discourse on the crisis of illegal immigration. Do you agree and do you think it could be a deciding factor in swing states come November? You know, Greg, I, originally I considered Abbott's busing plan to be a gimmick, a good nose tweaker, uh, but you can't deny the results that he's had. The buses knocking the Democrats right off of their high horse. You know, I remember the racism dog whistling at anyone wanting to secure the border. Now, the reality that we're seeing at the Texas border every day has hit neighborhoods in places like Chicago, Denver, and New York. Attitudes are changing, but you know, the hardcore open border believers, you know, they're not going to change. And for me, the question really is, will Republican voters be a no show at the ballot box again, like they were in 2020 and 22, or get outplayed by the Democrats again uh, because, the, uh, because of the ongoing GOP civil war and the reemerging abortion issue? You know, those are real possibilities that could counter Biden's border dumpster fire. All right, Stephen, you began to talk about this, but uh, Abbott has always been on the edges of the running conversation regarding Trump's choice for running mate. The governor told me he's only interested in leading Texas, but given his escalating prominence, could he change? Could he change his mind? I mean, I mean, he could always change uh, change his mind, but I think he's comfortable where he is. I mean, he, he's had a great career aside from just uh, being the governor of Texas, and now he's in a unique position where maybe he can be a kingmaker or, you know, uh, people who are running for president have to get the blessing from him, seeing if he, as he runs another uh, for another term in office. So uh, I don't think the governor will be VP. I don't think he's going to run for president. I think he's fine where he is. Quickly, Rudy, I want to hear what you have to say. Do you think Abbott really has no interest in being on the Trump ticket? Makes for a good topic on the road show. You know, the VP talk is an opportunity to, inter to introduce himself beyond the uh, being a border bus driver. But, you know, remember what uh, Cactus Jack Garner said, the former VP under FDR, the job's not worth a bucket of warm spit. All <laughs> I'll right. leave it there. <laughs> Let's leave it there. You can see the interview or any of our past interviews by going to our YouTube pages. And keep the conversation going by hitting us up on our social media. Got some emerging issues from vouchers to uh, sports betting. We'll see what rises to the top. And don't forget to let us know what you think the issue is.